the yellow on the front wheel. So again, that, that shows a, a rotation of those two relative to each other. And here's, of course, and from the top. To so sinkage is defined as delta Z. Uh, for the purposes of this, since we're not moving really very far laterally at all, that's a very good approximation to sinkage. Okay, our rear has animation again. This is across both solves. Again, the easiest way to look for the total motion is to watch for that jump back to the start. You can see again the right wheel is moving mostly down, but a little bit forward. The left wheel is moving more forward than down, but is also significantly moving down. Spirit is still currently parked at the area we call Troy, which is where her wheels are deeply embedded in some soft, fluffy material. Uh, she's fairly healthy. We have good energy levels. And uh, she's just waiting for us to, to start getting her out, which we hope will happen very soon. We really have no idea how long it will take to get Spirit out, or even if we'll be able to get Spirit out. This is the most complicated situation we have faced for mobility on Mars anywhere. Uh, we're embedded, we have rocks uh, under the vehicle, we're, the rover is tilted significantly so that there's a lot more weight on one side than on the other, and it's a very complicated problem. We believe we have done our due diligence and we know what the best chance to get Spirit out will be, but we don't know for sure whether it will work or not. Um, and if it does work, it's going to be a very long, lengthy process. We're going to be driving very, very slowly. We have to move about two meters to get all of Spirit's wheels back on good ground. Um, and at the, the rate of progress that we were seeing on the last time we drove on Mars, um, that will take a long, long time. If we're unable to get Spirit out of the Troy location, that certainly doesn't mean her mission is over. She's not going to die. She's in a place where she gets a great amount of solar energy, and in fact, the winds come along and clean her off. And we certainly won't turn her off because we're in one of the most rich scientific areas that we have ever found on Mars. There's a great deal of scientific research we can continue to do here. We'll basically become a Mars lander mission. And as you probably know, we've had great success with other landers. So we'll be able to continue our scientific investigations, both of the soil in this area and be able to do long-term trending on the weather, the dust storms, temperatures, things like that, which will not only inform us about Mars, but help us design our future missions.